Stellar Blade Saga has taken yet another twist. It's one that I've, you know, hey, gotta be a little bit happy for the company, right? Because there were some rumblings that potentially, okay, Sony was out there maybe looking instead of being a second party team, they were going to try to bring them on board, you know, to try to get a good foothold over there in Korea. So with them going public for $320 million, okay, good for them, man. You know, people are going to get paid off of the back of that. But also as somebody who was following this story, especially leading up to and post-release of the game with all of the censorship claims that were over the top of this, I seem to recall, uh, you know, some people who were really honing in on, we need to have Stellar, Bra or Stellar Blade as free as possible. We don't want to have any big business or third-party interference changing the game that was fundamentally promised to gamers. Something that I wholeheartedly agree with. It's just, I kind of seen this from a different perspective. It wasn't so much that Shift Up were the ones being held hostage. It was Shift Up was trying to play into the controversy in order to raise their profile, to get more attention for their game, in order to, I don't know, go public and make $320 million off of it. I'm just saying, man, Shift Up Corporation, the South Korean developer behind the PlayStation 5 exclusive Stellar Blade has raised 300, or I'm sorry, 435 billion won, $320 million USD in its first day of trade after initial public offering. Now, to be fair, okay, Shift Up also has a very successful mobile game. So yeah, this isn't all completely off of Stellar Blade because you don't end up moving hundreds of millions of dollars off of one game that might have sold a million copies. It was the best selling game in April, but one game uh, doesn't quite create a super successful IPO like that. According to Bloomberg, the oh, that's the largest in the country for a gaming company since 2021 when PUBG creator, okay, Kraft and in, there, oh, that's South Korean, huh? Interesting. Raised 3.8 billion from its own IPO. Yeah, in PUBG, yeah, that's a phenomenon game. For as much commentary surrounding, you know, Stellar Blade that was going on at the time, PUBG, yeah, I think it still has the record for most concurrent players on Steam, okay? Uh, Shift Up Corp uh, sold nearly 7.3 million shares at 60,000 won each. Uh, there was a demand for 226 times the number of shares available, Bloomberg said. China's Tencent is the second largest holder. Oh, yeah. That's interesting as well. That is very interesting because if you check a lot of the majority shareholders in a bunch of your favorite gaming companies, the bigger ones, yeah, just check how much a 10, 10 cent ownership is around there and just also take a look at the uh, drop off in quality, okay? And see if you notice a pattern in the company's success. Yeah, it comes off the back of the launch of Stiller Blade, uh, which has sold more than a million copies and may spawn a sequel as well as a PC version. But you remember when this was just simply Project Eve back in the cut, this was a multi-platform release and it wasn't until the 11th hour when Sony came in and had them change the name and then also make it a console exclusive. That's when things started to change and now with them going public, uh, they have, uh, they have loftier ambitions, we'll just say that. Yeah, and it's a popular mobile game. Goddess of Victory, a Nikkei. Again, I haven't heard of it, but I also know that, you know, that's the one that's driving the market. Stellar Blade launched April 26th, then took inspiration from Alita Battle Angel, 80s and 90s sci-fi, and yes, the Taxi Driver Strike. Yes, according to director Kim Hyung Tae. And then also heavy, heavy, heavy in her inspiration from Nier Automata. Uh, it's already enjoyed a handful of post-launch updates including one that added a boss challenge mode new outfits and more yeah of course the ones that were originally censored and the ones that were originally responsible for sparking off a lot of the controversy but that's yesterday's news guys because okay let's see how long all the goodwill around stellar blade is going to end up lasting because now oh grums one of the biggest champions for Stellar Blade and somebody who at least had the had the best take on this stuff because right he had the petition the free Stellar Blade petition and from the outside looking in it just kind of looked like somebody who wanted to have their anime titties on the screen but when you took a look deeper into his purpose you would understand that yeah he just simply wants games by gamers for gamers nobody coming in nobody trying to ruin anything ex post facto nobody engaging in false advertisement just stop having people over the top making anti-consumer decisions. You can totally get on board with that. 
But then I also take a look at what else Shift Up is doing, take a look at what the director specifically is saying. So when you see after going public, they will be required to publish ESG reports. Everyone has done this, including Tesla. So we have to wait and see the final reports uh, focus on. But yes, Shift Up is hiring. Do you have any skills in ESG? Please, all the new investors apply today. Yep, right off of the Shift Up website, you need a new IR manager somebody who will be responsible for the publication of ESG reports because, of course, man, I said, shift up. They aren't your friends, guys, okay? Because I remember this little article right here. Back at the height of all the censorship, Stellar Blade Studio head says outfit redesigns were intentional, right? Like, we lied to you, okay? We came out, we had much more sexier outfits, and then we wanted to cover Eve up, but just go ahead and allow people to run with the controversy that Sony's out here trying to make the world a little bit less bright, and we'll just, you know, have to play it by ear. We'll have to say thank you guys for all the support, but then end up coming out and saying that, yeah, no, it, it was actually intentional just because the costumes are vulgar doesn't necessarily mean that they're good i mean yeah we lied to you yeah we marketed on you know uh, eve's ass and titties hanging out but don't worry about us making these minor cosmetic changes if you're hung up on that you just <laughs> you don't understand aesthetics okay but I'm not even saying that's the worst aspect of this, because if you're compromised there, if you think it's not a big deal, okay, costume redesigns that altered a handful of the heroine's original outfits, as seen in the promotional materials are a result of a day one patch that had always been intended as the final result, just also lets me know that your decision-making capacities probably shouldn't be trusted because you are just simply willing to lie to your audience. Here's the final result. Why did you present your final result? Why did you go ahead and ship with the original outfits intact and then with the day one patch, revert them and change them? And then after realizing that, ooh, there, there could be a market for this. If we go ahead and release the costumes that we altered, okay, put a cleavage panel on, you know, put a little more fabric on the hips. We just do that. Oh, then it could come out and seem like, aha, we uncensored the costumes. They're liars, and you shouldn't trust the liars. Stellar Blade fans have taken these visual changes as evidence of publisher Sony wanting to censor Shift Up's original designs by stifling its creativity, sparking online debates surrounding Eve's stupidly sexy attire, stupid sexy Eve, uh, and how it impacts the player's experience of the action game. Now, like I've stated before, the gameplay, yeah, it's not something that really entices me. I'm not a Souls-like guy. I like very few action games uh mindless uh, slashers not really for me i want something a little bit more cerebral but not to the point where i need to dedicate my life to getting good in order to make progress yeah it was never anything that really appealed to me and if i wanted to see attractive women i would go outside and touch grass there's nothing wrong with wanting a sexy protagonist absolutely not i'm not deriding anybody for those desires of course i'm just simply standing up for uh don't lie to your audience plain and simple uh, it turns out that, nope, right? Uh, this is the work of the developer itself and had nothing to do with Sony. But whether you love or loathe Eve's and not safe for work skin suit, Kim stresses that Shift Up didn't remove the extra hint of cleavage here and add tights there in an attempt to deprive gamers of, of anything, but to provide stylish finishing touches to each ensemble. I don't think that it's just because the costumes are vulgar doesn't necessarily mean that they're good. So this is something that was modified for quality. As a result, there are parts where eroticism is lessened or emphasized. This is the final product and what we wanted to show as the intended result. Well, if that was always the case, why didn't you lead with that? Especially when all of that censorship stuff was at its height. Why, why didn't you lead with that? Oh, because you knew you were going to be going public. Decisions like this don't just happen, okay? Within a couple of weeks, you probably knew that you were going to be doing this after the release of your game, and you probably knew this at either the beginning of the year or even earlier than that. So you decided to ride the wave of controversy to maximize your profits. I'm just saying, man, okay, them going public, them potentially having to engage in ESG, DEI, all of those boogeyman type incentives, if they're going to do that stuff, we don't know if that's going to be certain. They could go public and they could be a great company like Tesla. Who knows, man? Or, or they're going to once again, try to play both sides of this stoke controversy, raise profits for themselves and ultimately deliver a game that nobody's really talking about a couple months after its release. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.